Hey YouTube, this is Cookies. What's going on? It is 25 degrees in D.C. today. Now, yesterday, y'all may have thought it was cold. Whoever went to the inauguration, shout out to whoever went. Me, I just can't deal with it. I even felt like I was coming down with something. Thank God I'm not. I took my vitamins and everything like that. But I know if I stand in that weather yesterday, I wouldn't be even doing a video today. So, I can't fade it. And I heard on top of that... Let's just talk about the inauguration real okay? Let's just talk about it real quick, just a little bit. Because that deserves a video of, it, of its own. But since I haven't seen you guys for a while, and you know I like to ramble before I do get in my videos. Something happened to one of the monitors. Whoever was at that monitor that was going on and off, glitchy and all that type of stuff. I feel so bad for y'all. You were in my prayers. Because if I was one of them, if I was one of y'all who was standing up, to a monitor outside in the cold and it was glitching on and off, I would have been pissed. I'm just letting y'all know I would have been pissed. I wouldn't even still be doing this video today because I would have been cold and pissed. So, that's all I wanted to say about it. But I did love the inauguration and everything like that. So, yeah. Let's get into this video. You guys, I love church. If you guys don't know about it, I do love church. I love great pastors that don't do wild things. And when I heard yesterday, it happened the 18th, but I heard this yesterday. What happened? A pastor was in the bathtub with a five-year-old girl. Posted it on Twitter and think it's a good thing. It's a godly thing. Let, let that marinate for a second. Let that ponder in your head. Let me repeat myself. A pastor was in the bathtub with a five-year-old girl. And it is not a woman pastor. It is a male. A male old man. This is not his daughter. This is his granddaughter. You are an old man and you are in the bathtub. Bubbles with a five-year-old girl. And if you guys saw the picture. Oh my gosh. If you guys saw the picture, you, you would freak out too. I've... We heard B Bishop Eddie Long yes last year. I think it was last year or the year before that. But we all heard about it. We all heard it, but we never saw visuals of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the visuals of being naked with a little girl or a little boy, and you're a grown man. You are a grown man. So, I didn't, you know, I wasn't really a... Uh, I couldn't ponder in my head until I saw the visuals. I was like, no, no, no. What are you talking about? A pastor? And... No, no, no. no. Pa <sighs> what I have to say about this is whoever goes to his church needs to be ashamed of themselves if you still go to church still. This is serious. I don't care what y'all say. This is serious. This could be considered as rape. And I want y'all to see the picture for a second. Because this is a wild picture. I was so... I was disgusted. Now let me show y'all the picture. Let's see. It's right here. But when I saw this picture, I wanted to freak out. There we go. Here's the scandal. And he posted it on Twitter, you guys. Look at this picture. Can y'all see that? I gotta make it clear for y'all. I'm trying to make it clear. Okay, I posted it to the side. But if y'all can see this picture, it is disgusting. This is a disgusting picture. How dare you preach the day after. And he waited like a week or two, two weeks to talk about it too. So, what's this pastor's name, y'all? This pastor name is, he's not a pastor, he's a bishop. Let's, just like Bishop Eddie Long, this is a new bishop, you guys. Bishop Larry D. Trotter from Chicago. And it's the girl is four years old, y'all. She's not even five. Let me can y'all look at this picture one more time? I wish I can just see it. It's smaller now. But if y'all see this picture, he this is what he said about the picture. He said that 
Let me give y'all the story. While y'all just look at this picture. Past Bishop Larry said that he was taking a shower. Not a shower. He was in the bathtub. And his granddaughter came in the bathroom. And told him, I want to get in too. I, I want to get in. So now that let's just pause at that story right there. Okay, so basically, your bathroom door was open, which should not be open at all, and your granddaughter came in, she saw you in the bathtub and wanted to get in with you, with bubbles. First of all, I mean, do what you do, I guess. I guess grown old man take bubble baths. I guess so because, you know, Reverend Run take bubble bath too. So whatever. I'm not even going to judge you on that because you were by yourself. So whatever. Do what you want to do by yourself. So he said, okay. He put on his trunks. So how did you put on your trunks, Bishop Larry? Did you get up from the tub naked and she saw you dingling and you put on your trunks? And then you sat back down in the tub. And how did she put on her so-called clothes? Because you both said you had on clothes, swimming wear. I just want y'all to read, look at this picture. Does it look like this four-year-old have a swimming wear on? She looks like she is naked. She looks like she jumped in that bathtub and he allowed her to. Then on top of that, this the story even gets more weird. He said that his mother, the mother of this child, took the picture and posted it on Twitter. So now the mother is messed up in the head too. Because you're the mother's in the bathroom, you're in the bathtub with trunks, and the daughter's in the bathtub, the granddaughter's in the bathtub with a bath suit, a bikini. Or what a bikini, a bath suit, something, some type of wear on, but as we can all see, she doesn't have anything on her. Like, that was a made-up lie. He went on the radio show and discussed about it. And he waited two weeks to go on the radio show and discuss about it. So, I'm... It's just really inappropriate. I can't believe that he's still pastor. If you guys can listen to what he said, I'm going to post up the, um, the site for you guys to listen to it. But I didn't listen to it. I'm sorry. I read what he said. That was the same thing that he posted on the um that he was t speaking about on the radio i couldn't hear his voice i didn't even want to hear his voice after that i was just disgusted in this pastor he said he upped his security because of it because hell i want to throw stones at him too for doing all this like what were you doing of course don't cast the first stone and, and yeah we all know all about that we all know about what jesus said because i love churches and y'all love church but at the same time to a little baby you're supposed to go to heaven? Bishop Larry, you're supposed to go to heaven doing all that? No! What would Jesus do? Jesus wouldn't be in the bathtub with little four-year-old girls. Seriously! I was so disgusted. I was eating while my sister showed me this picture. And I wanted to throw up. Whoever goes to this church in Chicago, what church is this, y'all? I just, I don't even, I can't. I can't. And he said this is okay. Like. Dear Larry. I'm not even calling you a bishop anymore. You're just Larry now. He, I don't even think he apologized. Did he apologize? No. That's the thing. He didn't apologize. I just want you guys to read this post. The post said. I'm not ashamed. That's what his response was. You should be. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm done with these type of bishops, pastors, over-the-top uh, prophets that think that they can do whatever they want and still believe that to God that this is the right thing to do. This is just as bad as Bishop Eddie Long doing those babies like that. It's just as bad. But this is, to me... I don't even know what's worse because we actually got a visual of this. You know what I'm saying? The men described the little boys that Bishop Eddie Long um, <clears throat> penetrate 
they're describing us how what he would do. And so we had to get that visual in our head in some sort of way. But we have a visual right in front of us. You know what I'm saying? You can't imagine it anymore. It's right there. He's not ashamed of it. And on top of that, this is a four-year-old girl, right? My last point. This is a four-year-old girl, right? Look at this. How is she the same height as him? He, so she must have been sitting on his lap with trunks on and taking this picture. Because they were really close. No bath toys, no nothing. I understand where he's coming from about somebody took that picture. But you all messed up in the head. You all need Jesus. You all need counseling. Y'all need to do something right. And for him to say that you're not ashamed, you should be ashamed of yourself. I can't believe a pastor would say that he's not ashamed of himself. Being naked with a baby. I'm going to read what he said about... um. What he said about the post of everybody was reposting this, like, what were you thinking and everything like that. This is what he said, y'all. I'm upset. I'm hurt. I can't believe that people would repost a picture of my innocent baby and say bad things about my father who loves my baby and all kids. He would never do anything to harm them. It's hurtful for the my whole family. I don't understand this. I, it doesn't look bad. I don't know why people would think this way. I know my father, and he would never do anything to his kids. And would, oh, I would not have. I would have not posted the photo online. We never wanted anyone else to see it. My father is hurt as well. We're his family. He doesn't want people to be posting his pictures all over the world. So he said this, Javon Jordan. Oh, the girl's mother said this because she took the picture. So that's what she had to say, you guys. She's up, she's upset. She's talking about her father, which is the pastor, Larry. And they said the he had on swimming trunks and the daughter had on swimming trunks. That's a bunch of BS, y'all. I'm sorry. It really is. It looks like she is naked. And I want y'all to see this picture. And she looks like she's sitting on his lap naked, too. You're a pastor. Something like this should not even be on Twitter. I can't go to that church. Thank God I go to a church where my pastor don't do that, y'all. Thank God. If your pastor do do this, y'all all need to sit down. You really do. You need to look at yourselves in the mirror and say, do I really think I'm going to heaven? Or do I really think I am so high up that I can do these type of things? Because last time I checked, you can't. I don't even want to see this type of stuff. On a little, I don't even want to see this type of stuff with any grown man and any baby because it's it's really not right. It's not. So, and when I grow up, when men are taking a bath, doors are locked. You know what I'm saying? Doors are really locked with the key and make sure nobody doesn't come in the bathroom at that point. But I can't. I can't even go in further, you guys. Those were all my points that I had to make. Follow me on Twitter. Don't follow him on Twitter. He probably still got this on Twitter. And I do have one more point. You guys know that pictures like this can be used on child pornography sites and things like that. It can. So I just want y'all to think about that too. So just ponder about this. Ponder about Bishop Larry D. Trotter in his Chicago church. So... I'm sorry that I didn't do a review on any reality shows in a while because I said I had to do T-Bars, but I'm watching her show again because I'll tell you guys about it when I do my review about it. Ponder about this and pray. Let us pray because this is really the last days, y'all. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. And, yeah, have a blessed Tuesday. So that's all I have to say about this, you guys. O-M-G.